welcome back. So in this video, we are going to go ahead and do uh, something that has been brought to my attention by a third party source. Uh, what he was asking us to do is to go ahead and make a fiberglass plate, one of these that we have made in the past, and take a polyethylene plate and do a comparison. Basically see, see if a homemade 3A plate can withstand more, can be a little bit more durable than the polyethylene plate. Now one of the claims to fame of polyethylene is how many sh shots it can take. It can take multiple hits and you know keep on uh, stopping the projectiles. So what uh, we've done in the past is we've shot these plenty of times and you can see what starts to happen with polyethylene is it loses its rigidity and after two or three substantial energy shots out of a 44, even some nine millimeters, it uh, really starts to have some back face deformation. It really starts to pull the, the polyethylene apart. This has been shot 12 times. Now two of them are with rifles just to, to prove a point that it, it will go through. But as you can see, not only does it continue to keep its shape, it's still completely rigid and could probably take you know another 10 shots so we're gonna go ahead take these out to the range we're gonna shoot them with the same rounds same distance and see how they perform now what I want to go over is some of the specifics now I have been told you can get polyethylene for the same cost as, as what you do for this that just it's not true some of the benefits of this is it's extremely lightweight. This weighs just over one pound. 1.3 ounces is what this is. This definitely weighs more. This is two pounds, eight ounces, two and a half pounds, I believe. And uh, so it definitely has an advantage in that. It's lighter, it's a slightly thinner, but as you can see, it is, they're very, very similar. Now, it does have added weight, but it is, I would say two and a half times less the cost. This is a very inexpensive plate. This is from online. This is the cheapest thing I could find that was pure polyethylene in a hard plate. This to my door was around $48, $50 I believe. Total cost that I have in this, this is with resin, with the fiberglass, even just some tape that I put outside. Uh, of this, we are at just under uh, $15, $14, uh, $14 and 50 cents, $14.80, something like that. So $15, $50, $40, $48. So that is uh, one of the big advantages to this. So weight goes here, uh, cost goes here. Now it's kind of an even playing field. So let's go ahead and take these to the range. We're going to shoot them, see the durability, see how they stack up against each other, and we'll go from there. Okay, out at the range on a windy and cold, snow is now here, day. And this is what we're going to be shooting the two level 3A plates with. So we're going to hit it four times with the 44 mag, 240 grain, jacketed soft point. And uh, it should be going about 1300 feet per second. We got the chronograph. We'll see it, uh, what we get. And then we're also going to be shooting it with some 9 millimeter. I believe these are 124 grain full metal jackets those are probably going around 1100 feet per second and we will also get some chronograph reading on that we got the slow motion camera and we are going to just kind of hit him in order i will stitch this all together because it is cold and i don't want to talk too much so <laughs> we'll go from okay so first up we're going to try the polyethylene plate uh we're going to hit it with four times a 44 mag please uh Forgive me, I forgot the clay backing, uh, which is only for representation anyway. We went ahead and did ranch style. We did some clay dirt instead. 
We'll see if that uh, holds past one or two rounds. But let's go ahead and hit this with the 44 mag and we will uh, go from there. That was definitely high. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and hit it and see what we get. So at this point, we decided to hit it with nine millimeter, 10 shots of nine millimeter to be exact. We wanted to concentrate a good majority of those to the center of the plate and then have a few edge shots um, if I could actually get them in the edge so from this point forward I lost the audio I will have to voice over this and let you know what we did so here on the plate you'll notice we hit the 44 very edge you'll see in the slow motion uh, we were having some problems with the barrel so we decided to only do one shot of 44 on each plate we did get some edge shots of nine millimeter uh, but the majority of them were in the center and here you can see the amount of deformation this was a single curve plate uh, now we have quite a bit of movement and deformation in the back of this plate so let's move on to the fiberglass and see how that one does So now we'll hit it with the nine millimeter. I attempted to get one edge shot and then try to concentrate most of the rounds towards the center. As you see, the plate fell over. I had to reset it and then I shot it a few more times. And as you see us come up to the plate here, uh, we have no pass-throughs, very little deformation. I was able to hit it one more time close to the edge right there. And I have five, six shots, that's the 44. Those are the last two right there that I went ahead and did. But all told, we had 10 shots of nine millimeter, one shot of 44 mag. And you can see there is very little back face deformation. Uh, no delamination, no separation, uh, very solid plate, uh, especially one for homemade. So let's go ahead and do a little breakdown. Again, this is just my personal opinion uh, from using both these plates, but I'm going to give you what I believe is the good and the bad, uh, and overall my opinion for what I would use for a level 3A. So starting with the good, you know, the polyethylene, it's lightweight, multi-hit capable. We saw that very, very good. However, the fiberglass is less expensive, less expensive to make, and it is also multi-hit capable. And lastly, both of these composites have been proven in body armor. And now the bad, polyethylene, it is definitely more expensive and is susceptible to back face deformation. However, the fiberglass has to be made to get that less expensive product. And with that comes some inconsistencies and added weight. And those are the drawbacks to the fiberglass. So in conclusion, I really believe that you either get a high quality polyethylene plate, which is gonna cost upwards of $100 or more, or you really learn how to build a fiberglass plate 
Uh, can't go wrong with it. I have tested it numerous times and for a three level 3A three plate, uh, still one of uh, my go-tos. All right, well, thank you all for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Got more of these on the way. And until the next one.